Shivaya Aum Nama Shivaya Aum Nama Shivaya Namaskaram Yeah, <laughs> it's been a while since I was uh, on camera, so it feels a bit funny, but I wanted to do this, it's just something that has come to me and I felt that I needed to get it out there, so the situation at the moment is since you've seen the title of the video and you've also seen the thumbnail you might have some idea about what's going on so I wanted to talk about that the situation of energy at this moment in time in Australia is so potent right now so auspicious that if you do something it can create a very great situation for you to go beyond the limits of mind and body which is to say suffering because there's only mental and physical suffering you know physical suffering we cannot do too much about but we can reduce it so what is the situation well some of you might know Sadhguru is uh, coming to Australia next week on the 20th he will be here he will be holding a experiential program you know got my shirt <laughs> Sadhguru in uh, Sydney, Australia. So in ecstasy of enlightenment. So soaking. I think we all know what soaking is. Ecstasy. There is um, joy. I mean there's happiness, there's joy. You know, those two they have an opposite. Happy sad then there is joy, misery, but ecstasy is something more. It's just, uh, you know, you're just gone. And uh, after that bliss, you know, in a way, bliss is that experience of uh, extended ecstasy. So blissfulness is also something which is not on a scale. It's just full on. So enlightenment, what is it? Is uh, to know your nature completely. The nature of life completely. So someone who has known their nature completely, completely to the fullest is uh, said to be enlightenment. It's nothing special. It's just, it's a possibility for everyone. So, some people have realized this possibility in one way or another by paying attention to their nature or just through circumstance it can happen so this kind of situation in Australia has never happened when we talk about a sad guru he's uh, that kind of possibility where he has a mastery over energy so his energies are in such a way 
Uh, he can manipulate energy in such a way that he can create a very exuberant or potent level of energy where it's uh, very lively, very alive. You know, so energy can be transformed in so many ways and he is very good at doing that. If you are a meditator, if you have been somebody who has been initiated by Sadhguru, eh, this is nothing new. <laughs> You've already experienced that. So, so many meditators, over 5,000 meditators, which means some people who have been initiated by Sadhguru in one way or another to the Shambhavi Mahamudra or Inner Engineering are heading to Sydney for this event. So if you have not been initiated, then it is not for you. This is an experience which is available in that sense. You, have, you must be initiated. So if you are initiated, you are available to that energy or presence that we refer to as Sadhguru and you have experienced that the taste of the possibility, a taste of that possibility. So, a Krishna Murti or Osho or Eckhart Tolle, Tolle, however you say his name, might have come to Australia at some point, or they have inspired so many people to meditate in Australia, where it has created a certain availability or possibility you know for people to experience something more than just the mind and body but in this kind of way it has not happened even Sadhguru himself has not done anything of this nature outside of uh, India and maybe the US center the yoga center or triple I in the US. So having so many people who are opening up themselves to this possibility at this particular time, there is a certain upsurge in energy when people are in that mode of preparation to be available or open to that possibility when Sadhguru gets here and uh, he does his thing <laughs> in simple terms. So if you do the right things, then you can really reap those, that possibility. You can uh, take advantage of that possibility even if you're not initiated. So I wanted to go through some of the ways that you can make yourself available and what it means. So the first thing is you can light an oil lamp like I've done. <laughs> so in a way, oil lamps is a fire element. So it's a good way of cleansing, you know, the atmosphere and also you are part of the atmosphere so yourself so there's other ways of cleansing yourself water soil you know so in this way our wind you can go and stand in the wind is a level of cleansing or purification you can light some sage, burn some incense, 
hopefully something which is not chemical you know some organic incense which is pretty hard to find so something like that you can do another thing that you can do is uh, to use a consecrated form so I have a Rudraksha, Rudraksha. Rudraksha, you can find these things on the Isha website, you know, isha.sadguru.org. If you go there, or Isha Life, Isha Life Australia, you can also go to the Isha Yoga Center in uh, Melbourne, where I'll share the address. So, you can do that. If you have a form, it's wonderful. Don't know so much about crystals, but also you can make use of that. So at this particular time, everything is uh, enhanced. There's an upsurge because of the type of energy or like the level of energy, you know, that is available. So a consecrated form is a, a live energy or like energy which has been uh, you know transformed to be more powerful you know more alive so you put life into a form it's a consecration then another thing that you can do is uh, to reduce the snacking. <laughs> what I say snacking is not just about food. You know, we snack in so many ways, watching videos, going to Facebook or Twitter or YouTube, or watching TV, listening to music, keeping yourself entertained in whichever way. You know, our other things like sex and alcohol and all the other stuff which gives you pleasure so pleasure seeking things you can reduce it a little bit and it helps you to be more open to that possibility so talking about snacking eating well eating the right foods when I say right foods there is uh, in uh, Ayurveda three types of foods. The first one is the pranic. Second one is uh, tamas, uh, tamasic. And then there is the rajvik, rajas. So rajas is the really harmful or like detrimental to your energy, the life energy within you. So things such as chili, red chilies you know green chilies there is um, tea coffee garlic onion there is other ones on this list such as asafoetida or something like that but yes so there's other things like um, processed food you know as well as some soft drinks or uh, most soft drinks and then meat then we come to tamas is uh, a lot of uh, starch food things like potatoes so pranic is what is recommended which is like seeds so nuts lentils beans and green vegetables, millets, things like this are more recommended. Things which are more alive because in seed form something is more alive. Vegetables are also alive because if you cut off and plant it, it's going to grow. And very good for your ligaments. So, like this, you can drink more water 
in different ways also you can uh, drink water in a more conscious way where you put it in a copper vessel and let it sit for a while before you drink it and then the way you drink it also you can see there's some videos on youtube that tell you the best way you can drink water Sadhguru has talked about it in a few ways in many different ways or different times occasions <laughs> videos so another thing is uh, to do mantras so if you know some mantras it's very helpful like Isha sounds of Isha has like very wonderful mantras such as uh, from the Vairagya album you know Aum Namah Shivaya that's the one I was doing at the start then there is Shambo, Brahmanda, Brahmananda, Swarupa. Then there is Shambo, Yogeshwara, Yoga, Yoga, Yogeshwara. Yeah. Then is the Nirvana Ashtakam. So, like this, you can find many mantras if you just look up Sounds of Isha on uh, YouTube or you can go to the Isha website or the app you can find these ones and talking about the app you can also find so many different practices that you can do without being initiated so there is Isha Kriya, there is Upa Yoga, there is Chit Shakti meditations which can also be found on YouTube there is also Simha Kriya, which is wonderful, so good for your immunity and your lung capacity, which is, you know, helps with the immunity. Then you can uh, also just uh, sit with your eyes closed. If you sit like this, it's been shown to be the best and most comfortable way to sit which makes you more available to whatever is there. So at a time like this, it's best. For the next one and a half week or so, or let's say two weeks, until full moon, it's a very good or lively opportunity, if you will. Then there is also, you know, how to sit. You can look at that so spine being erect upright it's a very good way to be you're more connected with the more aligned with the universe so another thing is uh, to sleep well you know how to sleep is there also so things like having a shower before you go to bed, eating two hours before you go to sleep, you know, and then um, just which way you face, things like that. Then of course there is um, being active. If you're more active, it helps to make you more available because when you expend the energy, then, you know, the body also is a bit more flexible, the mind is more flexible. It doesn't fight as much. <laughs> so it's a good way to be available. And uh, the last thing that you can do, maybe there's some things that you, you might be able to do, like going to the temple, but being an offering. Or being more willing so just being more of a yes to life if you are in this way you are a lot more available obviously because <laughs> you're a yes to life so this is also another thing you can do so it's wonderful I hope you can make the best of this opportunity really a privilege for me it's just 
it has opened up something so wonderful after so much that I have been struggling in so many ways this like has helped me bring so much discipline into my life and uh, just more clarity you know even with the direction for my youtube videos you know it's just giving me a lot more clarity mm. yes so that's what i wanted to say namaskaram and uh, be blessed shambo 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 shiva shambo you keep your logic aside place yourself completely in my hands my presence is like that of a catalyst things can happen much faster in my presence the important thing is it's just my energy which changes their chemistry in some way but when your chemistry changes your experience of life changes if your energies are just revved up to a certain level you will see you will become madly ecstatic so you want a demonstration of ecstasy